All right. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, today, we will be discussing our product HFWorks, and we will simulate uh, an MM wave filter for 5G applications. So let me, uh, before discussing today's agenda, let me introduce ourselves. My name is Hassan and I'm a sales engineer in EMWorks and we will have our R&D manager, Dr. Kabir, who will be delivering the technical part of today's webinar. Our agenda for today is the following. I will briefly talk about our solution advantages and benefits in general, what products we offer. Then our R&D manager will present the technical part. At the end of the technical presentation, I will talk about licensing services and various learning resources offered by EMWorks. Uh, so about the advantages of the solution. So why we are integrated into a CAD tool? The idea for this integration is innovative and fresh. What happens uh, conventionally is that if you want to use a new simulation software, you have to put tremendous effort and amount of time to learn a new modeling environment first, and only after you can start your simulation. Furthermore, uh, usually modeling features inside a simulation software are very primitive. It was not meant for complex geometries. So that's the reason why don't you get the privilege of using arguably the best CAD tools uh, in the world, which uh, namely was uh, is Solid or SolidWorks and Inventor. Also, even if uh, that is not the case, and you already use your own CAD tool to model, so now it's time to import your model into your CAD simulation or into your simulation uh, software. EM electromagnetic simulation software, I mean. But what if you want to change different parameters and uh, part of the geometry and model and see the result on the spot? You should export and import a lot of times. You have to switch between uh, two softwares multiple times to reach the optimum result. That's why it's better to do the modeling and simulation all in one place. So that was the idea to address the, the issue. And we are just inside the CAD tool. Uh, either it's SOLIDWORKS or Autodesk Inventor. Uh, let me give you an example. For example, for, for uh, SOLIDWORKS, which is arguably the most powerful CAD tool, there were other plugins for other applications like mechanical, um, and a structural, but there were nothing for electromagnetic analysis. We, we filled that gap and we are offering four different products for our valued user inside Catool. Our products are gold certified by Deso System SolidWorks Corporation since 2008. So let's talk about the products we offer uh, four products with various add-on covering a wide frequency range. Our first product is called EMS, which is used for electric and magnetic field modeling for low frequency applications. Uh, it covers uh, many applications like insulators, cables, bus bars, permanent magnet actuators, uh, circuit breaker, transformers, motors, generators. The second product is HFWorks, which is used for electromagnet simulation of RF microwave, high frequency and high speed electrical and electronic devices. It covers application including a wide range of antennas, resonators, filters, connectors, waveguides, and etc. Our third product is Inworks 2D, which offers a static analyzers and covers the covers the um, simulation of planar and axisymmetrical geometries. Our third product is Motor Wizard, which is template-based motor design software. It offers analytical and finite element analysis for BLDC and PM motors. In addition, in addition to these solvers, um, we offer new multiphysics solutions like thermal, uh, motion, um, struck, uh, linear statics, and circuit. Uh, in 
To this webinar, we will utilize Edge of Box software to simulate MM Wave filter for 5G applications. It, I would now request Dr. Ahmed to take over and present the next part of this presentation. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this webinar. Uh, today we're going to talk about simulation of uh, millimeter wave filters for 5G applications. And, uh, as of course everyone knows about uh, 5G, it's a buzzword these days. Uh, everyone is talking about 5G from media to politicians to presidents because 5G is going to change our lives and change uh, the way we shop, the way we watch movies, the way we work, the way we uh, try it. So it's really a big deal. Um, the 5G is basically when you talk about 5G, you are talking about millimeter wave frequencies starting from 27 gigahertz and up up to 70 70 gigahertz. The at that high frequency. Uh, the devices are going to remain devices. A filter is going to be a filter, an antenna will be an antenna, an antenna uh, power divider, a coupler, they're all going to remain the same, except the frequency is different. And changing the frequency can change a lot of things. Uh, the distances are much shorter, uh, we have more distortion, we have more attenuation, so uh, definitely. Uh, a microwave engineer who's used to uh, 4G, 5, 6 gigahertz. Uh, it's good that you're going to still be working with the same devices, but at different frequencies, uh, a lot of things are going to change. And we, we would like to today to show you how you can use your skills that you learn for the much lower frequency for to design uh, new filters that work for 5G networks. So um, the HF works, as you can see, is fully integrated inside SolidWorks. So you don't need to uh, import, export, uh, fix, uh, uh, you know, stitch uh, the data surfaces so because right you're right inside SOLIDWORX so this is SOLIDWORX and this is HFO just right there inside so let's start showing you today I'm going to show you a, a dual uh, band 5G waveguide filter so uh, start by creating a study and you have four type of uh, studies that you can create you can create an antenna as parameter like what I'm going to show you today, uh, TDR or resonance. So let's do an S parameter today. Okay. As parameter, you can parameterize. Uh, if you want to look at for only solution, you could, and you can. If you are worried about disk space, you can make choose to save the uh, field data or not 3D field data and compare fields to break down. Uh, HL as I'm going to show you later on, it has a neat feature, it's called safety factor. And the safety factor, it tells you whether you exceeded breakdown or not. Uh, so you can choose whether you want that um, to be checked or not. So frequencies, uh, you can do single point or discrete or fast three, but for this particular case, you're going to do 27 to, uh, to 29, to 29. And we're right in the heart of the uh, 5G frequencies and say 100 frequency. Okay. So, uh, meshing, uh, of course, uh, you don't need to worry about this because we have manual and adaptive. And of course, we recommend that you use the adapter so you don't need to worry about meshing at all. Okay. Coupling, you may choose to couple to thermal or not. So, once Say okay. A study is created. Okay, just take a second. All right. So now this is my study. 
my other housing is of course right click material uh, i can choose my favorite material say copper okay part one um, and uh, so these are uh, this the um, coaxial uh, feeds okay and where you're going to define the ports so this you can choose uh, your dielectric applied material and you have hundreds of material cable you can choose select whatever okay and then uh, these are the inner uh, conductors so i can use copper okay and for the rest is the cavity the cavity of course is the air okay i can choose my favorite material air okay. uh what else you need to do i just need to apply a port i have a this is, this is a port one and port two and that's it i'm in business right now we can just hit run okay so let's go straight to the results. So once it solves, okay, first of all, you can look at your table data, circuit parameter. So the table data, at, the, at each frequency, you have the generalized S matrix, renormalized impedance matrix, admittance matrix, and port results. For each port, you can look at the, uh, uh, the um, impedance, ZPI, ZPV, epsilon effective, uh, and of course gamma. Okay, at, at each frequency, it completely, as you can see, it changes. Okay, so that's your first set of results that you can look at, is the table results. Now, you can plot, okay, in this case, I uh, plotted S11, okay, can maybe plot again. So we're at 2D plot, okay. S11 add and they can do S12 add okay and they can choose the units dB or magnitude so I'm just going to do dB and there you go it's a dual band huh? so you have two uh, passing bands okay for S12 okay so this is your and as you click okay you can follow the curvature and so this is your S parameter okay so that's first second set of results are the uh, and you, there are other you can plot almost all of these quantities as parameter y z bswr port results all of them you can plot them as a function of frequency okay second set of data results is the plot the field plot so if i want to do here i can click on electric field okay and i can uh, definitely do a, a section clipping okay uh, so you can plot on section only and of course I can move my section so that's one section I can superimpose the second session section okay and a different plane actually I can do up to uh, six section or superimposed you can see it allows me to shoot, see directly inside my structure i can do also a vector plot okay now clipping and if i want to do site with the different uh, this is with one watt if i want 100 watts it automatically uh, update so I can excite uh, port 2 also, okay? And if it is, again, 100 watts, I can see the effect, okay? Of course, you can um, animate the results. It's, uh, okay. All right, so you can also plot the loss density. You can plot the port data. For these are coaxial line. This is E and H at the port. 
Okay. I can plot loss densities, fringe plot, volume density or surface density. Okay. Okay. Right. So uh, I don't know. What okay. Right. Um, at the end, I definitely can generate a report. Okay. Can uh, add uh, my logo and name of the company, the K company, and the date. You can actually uh, get a, a Word, Microsoft Word, right inside SolidWorks or an HTML. So you click OK. So what's going to do now is going to uh, capture all of my input, my analysis results, and the plots, all of them. So you don't need to write down any information because it's done for you using the report generator. So, so far I showed you how you can um, quickly and uh, do a, a study, okay, and this is your report, okay, all right, so I can definitely, if I wish to, uh, can copy and paste, okay, I can copy my study, okay, and change it and run again, and I can do, run all studies at the end, okay, so this is one um, study I wanted to show you. Second feature I want to show you is the thermal. So in this particular study, I said my coupling, thermal coupling. So as you can see, there's a small symbol here. Okay, it says that it's coupled to thermal. Okay, so uh, the 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 S parameter is the same, but now look at the coupling. Okay. At the coupling, I can do different couplings. So for this part, first one, I have coupling, add edit properties. I can, this, I excite uh, port one, five watt. Okay. And then I can look at my temperature. Okay. And same thing, can do clipping, section clipping okay uh, can different different planes okay I can plot in section only can play with my section okay and same thing I can plot up to six section or superimpose now if I change uh, transient if I do now 50 watts okay the temperature difference is going to change Okay, and they definitely can uh, uh, animate temperature. Okay, uh, so this is animating the temperature. I can, let me see if I can do a, a section clip to better see inside. Okay, plot on section only. Can move my section. Okay. So that, of course, I can look at the temperature gradient and the heat flux. So I don't need, look, it is integrated. This is a nice thing about HF folks. You don't need to export the heat load. Usually other software, they ask you to export the heat load, close your high frequency software, open a thermal uh, uh, software, import the data, none of that is needed. Okay, the heat load due to the conductor losses or the electric losses are automatically. The only thing you need to put is the convection. Okay, so it's the convection of the outside air. There's nothing else you need to do. All done automatically for you. If I want to do a different uh, case, say, or uh, I can do a new coupling, okay, you can do steady state or, tra or, or transient thermal, and I can just select the amount of power at each port, okay, and then run thermal. So I don't need to to rerun the electromagnetics program or again import or export the data. It's all done automatically. 
So that's the second set of uh, results that I wanted to show you is the uh, the coupling to thermal and how easy it is to couple to thermal uh, nature force for this dual band uh, millimeter wave uh, filter. Right. Okay, now let's look at something other feature that we have is parametrization. All right, so in this case, I want to parametrize design scenario. Okay, I want to the probe, the probe length, how much this is in my probe length. Okay, I wanted to parametrize it from one millimeter, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3 millimeter. I have five scenarios, and again, you know. You can say, well, what's the big deal, one millimeter? Yeah, I mean, it's true, one millimeter at uh, frequency, uh, at um, lower frequency is no big deal because uh, the wavelength is larger, okay? Uh, but at 27 or at millimeter of wave frequency, that could be a good portion uh, of the wavelength. So at high frequency, uh, distances are measured in terms of wavelength, so it can make a big difference. As you can see, see 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 millimeter, and let's see now with my design scenarios, my results table, okay, as usual, uh, it's same set of results. Uh, at each scenario, I can see my uh, circuit parameters, so to speak. So now let's look at this important quantity here is my, there you go. Because this is a parametri uh, parametric study and showing you S11. And you can see it depends, greatly depends on the probe length. So by just changing a 0.5 millimeter, my S11, okay, and of course S12 as well, it changed dramatically. So, uh, so that's, if I want to click, okay. I can also look at the results in, in listing format, okay. At each scenario, okay, I can change my scenario, okay, and look at the results in listing format. Of course, I can export them to Excel, I can export them to other, uh, you can plot them some other software, but uh, here we can see, okay, uh, how uh, the S parameter depends greatly on the uh, length of the probe. And you can't guess this, you know, even if you are used to do this uh, by experience at, uh, uh, at much lower frequency, you can't do it at this frequency, at 5G frequencies or millimeter wave frequencies, uh, it's very sensitive to uh, distances. So you can't also just make this and go and measure it. You're going to be wasting a lot of time and a lot of money for that uh, matter. So uh, it's really a fact that you have to live with is to use simulation. So this simulation doesn't cost me anything. It runs very quickly. Okay. You can just study the, um, this is the, uh, again, I think the same plot, but the, um, you can look at your, uh, uh, how your S parameter greatly depends on the, uh, on the uh, probe length. Okay. So, uh, um, again, for my electric field, if I want to plot my magnetic field, for instance, okay, you can edit definition, okay. And I can, um, okay. So this is my uh, scenario three. If I want to change scenarios, okay. All the results are, are there for you. You can also, as a matter of fact, you can also animate as a function of scenarios, okay. So for different scenarios, you're going to see different plots. Okay, right, as you can see, your magnetic field keeps changing 
as a function of synergy. It's, it's just changing here because it's hidden by the metal. But if I do uh, a section, a section clipping, oh, wait a minute, a fringe, you can do a section clipping. I probably can look inside. Okay. And if I do uh, plot and section only, okay. And then if I do now uh, plot versus uh, scenarios, okay. Uh, you can, okay, let's look, look at this. Plot versus cuts. Okay. It's going to take for you automatically different cuts and animate for you so you can see really inside what's, what's happening. Okay. There's another neat feature. If I wanted to, uh, maybe I show this for the temperature, okay? So if suppose I go back to the thermal analysis and I want to see my hottest, hottest spot, okay, say for, for this 500 watts, and I do fringe and do uh, uh, isoclipping. And the eyes are clipping. Why oh, this is not working? Okay, because of the yeah, because of the time step. Okay, so my eyes are clipping. Okay, can plot. Now I can play with, I can plot, play with this. Or if I want to from inside out, okay. And do you, that's what it tells you that the, for this particular case, showing you the surface where you have the hottest uh, temperature, in this case is around 56 degrees C. Okay. So this is another neat feature that we have in HFOX. Okay. So to conclude, uh, you can study your uh, 5G filter, antenna, or any passive components using HFOX. Okay. Uh, right inside SolarWorks, so you can parameterize you can couple to thermal and uh, really uh, at just a few clicks and you're going to see your results. You can do a parametric study. You can look at the different uh, scenarios. You can look at different frequencies. Uh, you can do frequency sweep. You can do all of that right inside SolidWorks. Okay. So that's basically I want, what I wanted to show you, uh, how important to use simulation at 5G frequency, okay, because it's very sensitive uh, to uh, small changes that we are not used to at much lower frequency. That's one. Number two, uh, the good news is, uh, or the number two or good news is, uh, is still what we learned at uh, lower frequency uh, wave guides still a wave guide. If you are used to designing a filter, you will be using same tricks, almost same shapes as before. So you just need uh, a tool like HFOX to help you simulate and uh, get your results uh, fast, okay, and easy. Well, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please type it. Uh, in the chat region and will be uh, happy to look at it to uh, answer you. Thank you again. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed, and uh, thank you everyone for bearing with us uh, and I hope you have learned enough from this webinar so far. Uh, let me briefly touch upon the licensing structure offered by EMWorks. We offer three different programs, commercial, academic, and startup programs. Each program has its own benefit and requirements. Uh, within the commercial program, we offer perpetual license, license while our, our licensing structure is usually annually based on the rest of the program. 
We have a combination of free and pay license for students, academics, mentors, lecturers, and professors based on the program they choose. For a startup, we are offering a very interesting plan for paying in installment. Um, yeah, EMWorks offer various free learning resources. With the software purchase and or trial, a uh, user can access the demo viewer section of the software through which they can access many predefined model, uh, model examples and tutorials. Uh, in addition, uh, we have a regular, we have regular webinar series on trending electromagnetic topics. Moreover, uh, we regularly post um, several application notes, blogs, and YouTube videos uh, on our web page and uh, YouTube channel and other social media channels. We also offer paid customized uh, training sessions to all users, users of EMWorks software. Uh, our support service is the strongest point that I can mention in this presentation. Uh, we always have, uh, we always um, support you and provide you support before and after sales. That's including a one-to-one -one web demo session to shorten your learning curve or even do benchmarking with the model that you shared with us. Uh, also, we are offering consultation and design engineering and simulation services. Uh, even come up with the new designs as per your requirement or refine and optimize uh, the existing design that you have. Uh, these are these are only a couple of our rallied cost clients. These big names are coming from different industries, showing our comprehensive and extensive solution. Uh, at last, uh, I encourage everyone to try our software and experience its capability. We offer two weeks of uh, trial for a limited uh, uh, trial version license of our uh, software. Visit our webpage, www.emworks.com. Go to our contact page, fill in your information and uh, submit your request. And we'll contact you. I would like to thank you all on behalf of EMWorks for participating in this webinar. Feel free to contact us after this webinar to get more information on our products. Uh, thank you very much.